I was selling at an art show a couple of weeks ago and a really freak windstorm popped up, blew my tent in half like a flipping twig. And I lost not only my tent, but about, I would say about a dozen of my resin painted wine glasses. And rather than throw the wine glasses away, I gather, gathered them up in a box. And I've been sitting on this for a couple of weeks thinking about what can I make with all this broken glass. And well, here it is. <laughs> earlier videos you saw where I had a little bit of a accident I guess you could say at my last craft show and my tent folded in half I lost I lost several glasses probably I'm going to estimate a dozen um, these are the bottoms of some of the the heavier glasses that were just completely broken. And I mean, I threw the pieces away, the little bitty pieces. And I'm gonna try to salvage these bottoms in some kind of piece, I don't know. And these, I'm gonna try to make a Christmas tree. I wanna make a Christmas tree out of all the broken pieces from, from the show. So that's what today's video is about. So some of these, some of these glasses, I don't think I've posted the videos yet. I honestly don't think I have. Um, the resin is popping off. Um, oh, I'm thinking I might just pick the resin off. This is one of the bigger pieces that came off. But look how gorgeous that is. Oh, my God. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the, the resin off if I can. Um, and just see what I have. And I do want to use one of my recycled fence boards because this, I, I, I want to consider this piece kind of like the phoenix that rises from the ashes. <laughs> I know that sounds a little morbid, but, you know, these, this fence board was salvaged from the trash. These glasses are salvaged from a storm. And why not? So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pick through, pick through this and just try to get all the glass off. So I'm going to try to get the resin off of, or pick the glass off of the resin, I guess, and um, just go about it that way. So piece by piece, I don't know if I can get all of it off. Now this glass is a little bit sharp. It's not like, it's not like the, the glass that I use normally. So I'm going to have to be really careful. I wonder if I could just nip it. Am I even recording? Yeah. I think for the most part, I can pop it off. I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife. I think I can just I lost the tip of that that blade. Maybe Picking off the resin with an exacto knife was a little harder than I expected, off. so I'm Ooh, on to plan B. If, I can. if you've seen some of my other crush glass Christmas tree videos, you've seen me use these tile nippers, the wheeled nippers, and then the tile pliers I bought on Amazon. It's a set of two and it was around $25 I think. I'll put a link in the video description below but the wheeled nippers are great for, for just taking um, little you know little tiny cuts out of the glass and just really fine um, making fine cuts and then the pliers are more for you know big chunky pieces. You can't really get very um you know, exact cuts with the pliers, but the wheeled nippers are really, really great. And I'm having a little bit of trouble with the one glass, just getting that big chunk of resin off, but I finally got it. Mm okay. 
I don't know really what my plan is. I think it's just going to be big pieces. Um, some of this is glass and some of it is resin and glass. That's resin. Um, that board might be a little small. No, I'll just use that. So I'm just going to act like this is um, like this is all glass and just. Piece it together like it was a crushed glass piece. I mean, I don't know how else to do it. You know? Kind of need to think about my base. What I want my base to be. It needs to be something. What about this? That could be my trunk. 100%. Is my trunk. I'm going to trim it around in the sky because this came off of glass, so all of this is coming off of all of this is recycled. All right, so I'm going to start layering the bigger pieces on the bottom, like so, and kind of make, like, sort of make the shape that I want with these bigger pieces, because that just makes more sense to me, almost like a mosaic. So you know how that I want my shape and it just makes sense to use the bigger pieces. I need to cut that in half though. It just makes sense to use the bigger pieces for that basic shape of the tree. This one I need to cut. You know, and it's not going to be exact. It's not going to be the perfect shape. That fits really well there. God, that's so pretty. But it's going to get me close enough where... Um, to be close enough. Hmm. No, I need a small piece.
So I am using the, the pieces that have glass first just to give me that base. And it's just a firmer base. I know I've got more of these teal though. Um, Cause I just think, I think that's going to be, I need that good base. I need that firm base. And it's just kind of like a little jigsaw puzzle. Does that seem crooked? It does seem crooked, doesn't it? There we go. That is more straight. I've got really more than I need. I'm wondering if I just need a bigger piece of wood. Or make this one. All right, just for giggles, I'm going to see what it would look like if I put it on a bigger board and made a bigger tree. So I'm just going to kind of maneuver these out. I think I have enough to make it on this big board, honestly. I'm going to paint this board white, though, because I, I don't want that. I don't want it plain brown. Yeah, that's going to work out. That is going to be perfect. First thing, I need to go ahead and paint that. That is all the glass on what broke. It's too much for that small board, and I don't think it's enough for this. I don't think it fills it out enough. So I think what I might do, don't judge me, but I, I have other resin pieces from when I... When I have drips left over in my cups, 
Um, and so that's what I'm going to fill these this in with. But I think what I'm going to do, I think I need to go ahead and put down a layer of resin. But Let's Resin sent me their Fast Cure to try out. And that's a um, The two most important things you can do so when you're mixing resin epoxy, or using resin but is I to think measure gonna, correctly work for this. and to mix it well. I mix really it according to the manufacturer's instructions. And it's not this magical time period where you have to mix it for five minutes to activate the resin. The reason manufacturers tell you to mix it for three to five minutes is to make sure that you have mixed it mixed it well. You want to scrape the sides really, really well, scrape the sides a couple of times, and scrape the bottom a couple of times. I am going to drizzle it on the top of this beautiful Christmas tree. And I gotta figure out the top there. I always start with my edges first because then I know where I've been and I know where I need to be and I know that everything is covered. Don't feel like I got a lot on. I feel like I need to mix more. But I don't know. Resin will surprise you. I don't know. It's a medium viscosity. It feels like it's a medium viscosity. And it's probably going to be okay. It is going to continue dripping and, you know, kind of getting down in between the cracks. So I think it's going to be okay. But the nice thing is, once it cures and hardens up, I can always come back and add more resin if I need to. So now I'm going to take these little resin bits and I'm just going to drop them on. And I'm just, I'm just taking my scissors and I'm going to, so this is kind of like resin confetti. Huh? I probably need to do this on in a bowl ahead of time, but that's a nice little piece there though. I might stick that there. Mm, that's a gold, I like it. there and always come back and add more resin not worried about it that's a nice piece um, trying to focus on these blues is Where should this one go? I'm gonna flip this one over. There, there we go. All right, I need some color down here a little bit because there is a gap right there. I can kind of sprinkle that on.
edges. That's pretty. I need to put this somewhere. Like right there. Hey, these resin drips are amazing sometimes. I really do feel like I need to mix more. Right there, there's a gap. gap right there. Right there. Oh my gosh, this is so fluffy and cute. All right, I am going to mix up a little bit more. Let's get this guy down. And all I'm going to do is use a little bit of resin. Man, I really love this spatula. I only need it at the top and then on his tail. And then I'm just going to drizzle some. So it's going to drip down onto the board and it will kind of stick himself. But I'm going to pay attention right there around his tail and get him stuck down on there. And do the same. A little bit of resin right there. Actually, probably no, it'll st it'll stick there like that. And that's it. And I can brush off all the residual a little bit later once everything is dry. I hope it's not crooked. I don't think it is. And I can brush brush off all these little crumbs. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this. 
Oh, definitely the biggest I've made. I am just going to shake off any loose stuff. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So let's give it a quick measure. This is 14 inches across and 23 inches long by approximately one inch high. And the only thing I'm going to do, I mean, is this is done. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is put a little sawtooth hanger on the back. I don't think that this will really be enough to secure it. So I'll put a sawtooth hanger right there. And um, that is that. What do you think? I mean, I absolutely love it. This looks so much like a like a stained glass piece. I absolutely love it. Love it. This thing is just so pretty and it looks so good right here on my dining room buffet. I might just have to keep this one for myself. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know what you think.